scared me. You back again about the trailer? All right, come this way. I'm excited because today is window day. Yep. And I put in the vents actually before today started. So I got one right here and one at the top there. And they're gonna work each other for cross ventilation. This one's also gonna be able to service the shower head I'm gonna put here and this kitchenette area. What I'm doing now is I got these blocking furring strips I ripped down on my buddy's table saw. I'm gonna put them around here and here on the windows. And what that's gonna do is give me something to drill into. So when I put the windows in, I'm gonna have a bunch of silicone again, like for the truck cap, and then screw, uh, screw right in with the self-tapping screws into these steel beams here and these furring strips. So let's see how it goes. So I realized I didn't do the best job of explaining the point of this blocking here for the windows because the way they're designed, they don't actually screw into the wood here. While the vent fan does in its design, the, uh, the windows have this back bracket and the two pieces pinched together. And that's actually how the seal is made and how structurally it stays on the outside of the trailer. The point of the blocking here um, is to give this flexible outer skin on the trailer something hard to press up against. So when the window butts up against it, it has something to push back on uh, to make a good seal with all that silicone and keep it watertight. That's getting better there, eh, Lacey? <laughs> Haven't even put in the first window and I've already had a little hiccup or two. First being this silver bracket here. Um, it's not very big, but it's just far enough that it, it keeps the window from sitting flush with the outer skin of the trailer. So I'm just gonna have to notch that out and some of these extra little screws that are sticking out. Won't be a big deal, but it's a little bit of a pain. And then a bigger problem is this gasket like backer piece that comes with it that you're screwing the two pieces into so it clamps down um, it's offset so you have the option of bringing it in real tight or very far but there's no real adjustment in between and real tight doesn't fit my window is too thick for that so I won't get a good bite down on uh, everything else and too far leaves a gap so my only option is too far and it looks like it's going to be less of a clean result on the back end. 
Uh, but that's the only option I have for the windows, except for on the door, where the only way I can do it because the door is a little bit thicker is to have it inset like this. So I'm gonna have to cut just a little bit wider on the interior, but not the exterior, all the way around to actually get that to fit in there. on me is that what you're doing yeah that's what she does <laughs> why does that hurt so much <laughs> two more windows in that food truck window but got rot at the bottom of this window so I'm gonna need to take that out uh, rebuild it with some good wood and that and I'm having a little bit of the same problem over here with this wood so I'm gonna replace this before putting in those windows too yeah so when everything's all said and done there's gonna be five windows four portholes two vent fans you've got your food truck window your ramp door in the back and your side door plus those two uh, 
windows in the top of the truck cap that can all be opened up. So there's tons of passive ventilation in the trailer. Also, you've got those two vent fans that are set, one high, one low, one on uh, the side, one in the center, that give a good cross breeze through the whole trailer. And all heat actually rises up into the truck cap. So the whole thing is really well, well ventilated. Um, and then all those windows just add a ton of light. It's very nice, even in the hot Florida sun. You know, it's, it used to be very hot, but with everything in there now, it's very cool. The next thing I'm gonna do is get a straight axle to replace that four inch drop axle. That's gonna get me some extra ground clearance and I can install a gray water tank down there. After that, I'm gonna get some foam board insulation and some paneling and get started on the inside. Is this thing freaking recording? I hope it is. Yeah, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> 